evening, first of which is introduce you to the people who make this possible. By the way, I'm Dr. Fleming, otherwise known as Coach, and that's the way I like it. First time I, I saw Coach was on the field just like everybody else, and it was, I mean, he, he comes up across as somebody that, oh geez, you know, I'll never be able to just, you know, go up to and talk to him. I mean, he's... He's Dr. Fleming, or as everybody else is calling him, Coach. When I first came in here, I remember saying, oh my gosh, it's Coach, it's Coach. And you feared that name. You didn't want to go talk to him. You didn't want to see him. And that's the farthest thing from my mind that any student would be, one, scared of any professor, let alone me. And yet, I can understand, kind of, because, you know, it's the uh, same old thing. The old members are the ones that talk the most because they know my bark is worse than my bite. If it wasn't for him, the band would not be as good as they are. Like, no. they're, it is an awesome band, and it's because of him. He's strict, but it, it's, it's all worth it. He needs to the be. End. Uh -huh. He's got 300 kids plus running around like yeah. animals. <laughs> He's got so much energy. It, I mean, it's almost ridiculous. I mean, how, how well he plans things out, and almost too well, and there's a little piece of paper for every freaking little thing. You know, yeah. get your video order form, get your banquet order form, and you know, he's gonna hand it out like two months early, and so that we just put it in our jeans, and then wash them, and then ne never see him again. And then he yells at us, you know, because we don't have it to hand in. 42, Tanya Milligan. 43, Karen Tobin. 44, Brad Doan. 45, Kevin Manelli. We have tonight the uh, section leaders, squad leaders, band council members, and they're being taken through their paces by the drum majors. And we have different phases set up that they learn ankle knee mark time at one, they'll learn glide at another, they'll learn uh, tension, they'll learn just the fundamentals. Well, I'm that. teaching my time. That. We all know what we're teaching. It's just that we were supposed to Switch. rotate after the attention. Okay. All right. Okay. So then, so <laughs> then like, one doesn't mean teach. group one. Okay. No, that doesn't mean anything. Really. All right. So you're teaching glide and drag hall, <laughs> right? Right. Four hundred people totally sitting on their asses. Get the disorganization on tape, dude. Backwards. Time. You're doing it backwards. You're doing what? The high time. And you're doing mark so. time. Mark time. Mini mark. So. All right. Let's so, do it, for so real. Let's do it right what now. What are we doing now? What we're supplying? What, yeah, what our, yeah, you're still, yeah, I've been yeah. doing that. Yeah. And then we'll rotate. Right. What we do is we teach a million times. We'll teach two skills, I think, each. To first to freshmen and then to, or first to squad leaders who help you later on teach. And then to um, the freshmen and then the people that come back. And we just do a lot of marching basics. And then we go inside for music rehearsal. and. Band camp really isn't, yeah, I think band camp is hot and it's tiring and, it, and parts of it suck, but sometimes that's what I like because I love to do things that are really difficult and then be like, I did that, like, I made it, you know? So that feels good to me. And it feels good to just to say that it was 120 degrees outside and I did this. And at the time, it might kind of not be fun. But afterwards, sometimes I kind of like that I did it. I am really into percussion. I've always wanted to play percussion. Um, I, I think that they are the most um, 
musical, I think their parts are much harder than everyone else's. I think they're the only people that are truly into the music. I mean, I think that other sections are as well, but That's I mean, true. they just, they have all their music memorized. Well, some of them do. And I think it's just, a, it's a kind of a different world. I always chuckle when I think of Bill simply because I remember him as a student. And when he was a student here, um, we definitely had some differences of opinion, and yet we worked them out. My name is Bill Meldrum, okay? And my father sat down with me once, the year before he died, and we had a big talk about this. And he looked at me and said, you know what? He said, you're not a Meldrum unless you piss off at least three people a day. And a good friend of mine's father also told me, she, he put it in a very good way. He said, you're very passionate about your drumming, aren't you? And I'm completely passionate about it. And as I've said, if it's good, I will tell you that it's good. And if it sucks, I will tell you straight up that that sucks. And if you want to take that as me being an then that's the way it is. I mean, th then I'm an But I like to liken everything. I like to think that I can get in somebody's face and say, are you going to learn your music? Are you going to do this? Is this going to happen anytime soon? You know, and yes, sarcasm isn't, you know, I'm real good at it, but it's not great. But, you know, I'm good at it. It's not great to do, though. But I like to think that after practice is over, I can hang out with them. You know what I mean? And it's not always that way. I mean, yeah, you, you can't piss people off and uh, expect them to be your buddies all the time. But my check doesn't come to be everybody's buddy. You know, my check comes because I need a good drum line on the field. And if somebody's not pulling their weight, I will tell them they're not pulling their weight. And I will also tell them how to pull their weight. This is what you need to do. And, and that's it, you, you know, and that, that's, that's straight up the way it is. And no, I'm not always comfortable with it. No, I know that the band thinks I'm an a a lot of times. I understand that, you know. But my job is to make the percussion section look as good as it can. The percussion parts are played so magnificently. And yes, we have good players, but without that strong leadership at the head of the group, the, one, the person that is in control, um, it would never happen because they can tend to be a group that really wants to take their own tack and go their own way and uh, I think we have really brought uh, to the front of percussion playing one of the finest sections I can ever remember. Check it out, basses. I want to hear you at six, please. When I think of Bill, I always remember him talking to Coach with goo -goo 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 -goo, and Coach be going, "Yeah," and then the drummers knowing exactly where to start. People laugh at me when I say uh, drums. We're starting in uh, -ga -cha -cha -ga 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 Th They laugh when I say that, but the drum line knows where I mean. I could say, you know, we're starting three measures from letter four, or you know, we're starting three measures from letter B. I could say that. But if I just say, you know, basis, it's where you go, and they're like, yeah, I got you, that's cool. A big part of the ASU band is we do you know, four or five shows a year. You need to be able to look at a piece of music, drum it, and, and have it memorized within a day. You know, it has to be memorized and played pretty well. I don't have time as a percussion instructor to say, here's the way it goes. Jigga digga duck duck duck. And they say, is it this? Duck digga duck duck duck. I say, no, it's digga digga duck duck duck. Of all the other people on campus that I think does a job similar, his job description, their job description is so very similar to mine, is Coach Fleming's. I mean, he. Uh, is in charge of a huge number of people with a lot of moving parts, uh, has to have a commanding voice and, a, and a, a good field vision for what is right and what's not right, um, discipline, commitment. Uh, I admire him a great deal. I think he does a great job. And, uh, and I'm not real sure you can compliment anybody more than by saying, hey, coach, 
So if they call him Coach Fleming, that's thumbs up by me. Most of you are pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Three. 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 One. Two. Three. Four and one. Two. Three. Four and one. All right? It was the angle of your turn. You tried to go too far. That's all. And one, two, three, four, and one. Generally, if you're tipping or falling when you make that step, because you didn't make that step where it should be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's called a drag, drag, left, drag, left, and one, two, three, four, hit. Okay, my toes are actually staying together. My feet are never leaving the ground. And one, two, three, I'm there, hit. Okay, so let's try that together. Bend, bend, butt. Yes. Drag, left, drag, left, and one. You get the afternoon off, you go check out your instruments, go do uniform check-in. Uniform check-in can be a very long line. I remember my first year there, they said, oh, go up to fourth floor. And I'm like, okay, I walk up there. And about three hours later, I come down to second floor to get the rest of my uniform. <laughs>
if you're not a little bit of a show off and don't have the drive to take that extra step then you'll just fit in and be one of the gang and uh, trumpets are always playing well 90% of the time they're always playing the melody and so that makes them feel a little more important because they're carrying in the marching band they're carrying the melody line I think Rob Marantad is a very good section leader. Mm -hmm. I think that he has a lot of energy. He comes prepared. He um, is passionate. I think there's just kind of like this camaraderie. This like there are like sixty brothers and sisters almost. You know, they've kind of almost got their own language, and you know, um, just a whole different confidence. I think about it. I and mean, it's not just because I'm a trumpet player that I'm saying this, but I think that that's just. That's just where I see the most devil pride. I love you guys. <laughs> Hi. What's that? Oh, I thought you wanted my name. I know you. No, Nicole. Yes. Uh, Alec H. Okay. Yep. <laughs> You get that night's rehearsal and it's kind of funny because you see the section leaders and squad leaders standing together and then you see all these people walking in like they're lost, like they don't know what's going on and those are the new blue chips. On this way, I'll you. And you guys are mine. Let's move over this way a little bit. Actually, let's get a little arc. So we can get a little closer. Bring it in more, though. Bring it up some more to me more. Try to get like a two step space from there so you can snap your feet in. <laughs> Feet shoulder width apart. Left hand over your right. On the air. Bang! Ten! Hut! Hoose! At ease. Don't anticipate that. Bang! Ten! Hut! Hoose! 
Okay, I'm going to give you whistles for a horns up. Remember, just think, think in your head where you're going to snap that horn up. Or whatever it's going to Just think in your head. I'm going on three. I'm going on three. We're going to uh, give in uh, for your safety. Hey, I don't want to go home, believe me. I mean, not that I don't want to go home, but I'd rather stay here. Um, but it just, just scares me. I, if we were on that field over there, I wouldn't feel as bad, but it's just, it's hitting right over us. and uh, So, as soon as I say goodbye, it's going to beep, sun will come out. Like it's probably raining uh, about a block away right now. It's not raining here. Okay, but this lightning has got me spooked. Let's get out of here. We'll talk more tomorrow. Old members, think of things we need to tell the new members. Wait, I'm sorry, wait, what? What? Name tag. Name tag. Yeah, make sure you wear your name tags, guys. If you don't wear your name tag, you got to do a lap. The tuba players are, they're different. They, I mean, you got to be. Who else would carry 32 pounds on their shoulder all the time in a seven-mile Rose Bowl parade and not complain? You know, I mean, it's... Uh, the stamina that they have to have, not only to expel all the amount of air they have to do, but to carry the darn horn. I always look forward to tuba day in the fountain on the campus when they all come out and it's obviously the tuba section getting themselves all prepped up. It's an event that everyone knows about. We usually get on the news or the radio station, we call about four or five. And what we do is we go and hold our sectional in the fountain as a little way to have fun and enjoy ourselves. So we play for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, play our basic songs. And then it's what we call our tube initiation. We get all the tubas around in a little arc, our circle depending, um, find it in the deepest bay of the fountain and say, okay, new member, we call a certain one over, come on. And, they, and then we go, we all put our hands on their head and say, Welcome to the this year da 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 suit to the phone section. Your new nickname you will be now known as, and then we say the name and duck them and let them right back up. And the jumper is the last person into the A and the last person into the U. Uh, so we actually get to have two every year rather than just having one person. And uh, they audition for that in band camp, and uh, it, it's really quite a lot of fun. Uh, but it's quite serious too because it's it's something that uh, I look to and I kind of uh, it's just something that that I like to uh, think is part of our precision and our pride in precision that they in fact hit that spot as the horn flash happens. Jerry Hunt! Jerry Hunt! Jerry Hunt! Jerry Hunt! First time in band camp history, on Friday night, we even have the opener of halftime for the first show ready to go. Hey everyone! End of camp. Uh, a big music rehearsal, 10 p.m. Uh, we got 
provide the beverages to bring three bucks. Dollars off for all dancers and flag. Uh, anything else? Be there. All right, here we go, dude. Night of band camps ending. Everybody's getting loose. We've had a week long. I want to introduce you one of our drum majors right here. It's Jamie Ali. Jamie Ali, baby, drum major. He's having a good time. Band so camp is over, baby. That's right. We're trying to regulate out here. Check it out out here. Out here, we got some people chilling in the backyard, okay? Look, we got it empty. We're going to have to go inside right now. We're going to get a real little refill. I'll introduce you to everybody. What's up, Thompson? What's up, Thompson? This is Thompson right here, man. Let's go inside, get a refill. Let's check out everybody that's going on in here. I'll introduce you to everybody. Brand new kid coming in. One, two, one, two, ready, ho, 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 go. This is your general marching band party because you'll notice right down here, if you can see where I'm pointing these ladies down here, that's uh, it's your trombone section. That's your women of the trombone section. They hang out together. They always do, they always have, they always will. Okay? Now around the keg you got beer fiends because the tap has just been tapped. Beer fiends. Once a tech keg is tapped, the beer fiends always run first. I mean, I'm one of them, full one right here. They're going to be there. Out back here, smokers and the socialites. They'll be there all the time, all night long. The only reason they come in the house is to get a beer.